What is going on guys? Jason from YouTube here telling you why some of us took a complete beating today with our penny stocks. And by penny stocks, I don't mean the stuff under, you know, a billion dollars or $10 or $5. I'm talking about our legitimate penny stocks, the stuff that is OTC off the counter. And so, or sorry, over the counter. Um, these are the stocks that you can only get on the big brokerages. And so those of you who are in Canada or, or not America, uh, what you need to do is Google over-the-counter brokerages for your region, for your area. Uh, here in America, the company I use is Schwab. That's my favorite because these trades are still free. I think it's with uh, E-Trade. Uh, these these trades are like six or seven dollars and so if you're buying you know massive amounts and you're planning on holding it not a huge deal if you're gonna swing trade some of these you know those seven dollar fees come into play especially when you want to buy little dips of maybe fifty dollars here or there you know when you're paying you know what is that uh, 12 14 percent uh, in fees it just makes it a little bit harder now the video the, the thing I want to talk about today is why did these stocks take a drop today? Um, are they going to continue to take a drop? And kind of what we can do about it. And this is speaking on a broad term. And then I'll tell you uh, my favorite OTC stocks that I'm invested in and my plans for some of them over the short term and the long term. And so as always, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just Jason from YouTube trying to tell you uh, what I'm doing, what I see coming up, and uh, again, just what I'm gonna do about it. So the reason why we got that beat down on Wednesday, and the deal is Wednesday opened up 9.30, stocks were through the roof. By 9.45, we started getting the full beat down. By 10.30, uh, I had taken, and this is just in my penny stocks, I had taken a $16,000 gain and turned it into a negative $4,000 in a matter of 45 minutes. But that is the nature of OTC penny stocks. You get in big, you can see a huge run, and then a, a huge drop. And so for the most part of today, I ended up buying a lot. And when this first happened, I'm not in this stock. And so it took me a while to figure it out, but this is what happened. So a company named COUV, which is Corporate Universe, their uh, big product is a mask that's supposed to come out and help fight with coronavirus. You know, the, the promise is it's, you know, special mask, special blah, 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 blah. I don't want to give too much information because I didn't look too much of it up because, again, uh, I came across a stock, I don't know, maybe about a week or two ago, was not that interested in it um, because I was already in ITP. And while sometimes I like to get into competing spaces, uh, sometimes I, you know, my plan is to just diversify. And so since I was already in a mass company, I didn't want to get into another one. And so I just passed on it and then here it comes back to light that it's biting me in the backside. So what happened with this company is the SEC saw something and they suspended the trades. And so the SEC, when that happens, they don't give you any information. They don't tell you, well, we thought, you know, there was some corruption or we thought there were some issues about, you know, the finances or we thought there was an issue about the product or, you know, there were lies. They are just very, we're shutting it down for your benefit. That's what they tell you. And so obviously when that happens, the rumor mill is gonna go crazy. And obviously, you know, what's happened over the course of the last two weeks with Robinhood and AMC and all that, we have that looming of, you know, we don't trust the government, we don't trust the SEC, we don't trust, you know, the big players. But at the same time, we also know that the SEC has stopped companies like Enron. We've also seen movies like The Boiler Room, and we're wondering, is this stuff too good to be true? Is, are we getting lied to? Did we get promised a huge false hope when, you know, the emperor has no clothes? You know, whatever analogy you wanna, you wanna use, you know, Wizard of Oz, you just, there's some guy back there with a giant microphone just throwing out a bunch of, 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 of junk. And so, I did try to do a little bit of research on this, uh, you know, looked at Facebook, Reddit, the stock twits, and it seems like right now uh, the fan base is, as investors, are leaning a little more negative, maybe 60-40, just saying, hey, as soon as this opens up, cash out, move on with life. 
there's still a good 40% that are saying, hold, this is just a hiccup, you know, they're trying to get to us, don't worry about it. Uh, one report, one post even said, maybe someone gave a false report just to slow it down. You know, maybe someone had a, a short on it and wanted to hurt it, and so they're, they're trying to short it to get the money out, and then obviously they'll, they'll go back up. And so, uh, with some of that stuff, it's just hard to swallow. You know, uh, over the counter is risky enough as it is. It's a very, very risky stock. That's why I don't talk about too many of them. Um, you guys know I have a few videos on Blue Sphere. That's a company that I do like. Um, and there's uh, GTEH, which I do like. And then I'm going to go th ahead and throw out my other ones because people are always asking, what do you invest in? What do you invest it in? And I don't have a Patreon. I don't have, you know, uh, a Discord. I don't, you know, for me, and someone was, was interacting with me in the comments of this earlier, they ask, you know, how many stocks do you look up a, a day? And the answer is usually about three to five, and I'll usually grab those from the comments. And usually those three to five, I'll find one or two that I really like. Um, and, and again, that quick due diligence is, again, five minutes or so. And then of those, you know, two, three that I really like, I'll spend another 10, 15 minutes on going a little bit deeper. And then usually I'll find one that I really like and I'll spend, you know, a couple hours on that one. Sometimes it takes me two days just to get through all the due diligence. And then if I like it, I'll make a video about it. Or if I don't like it, I'll make a video saying I don't like it. And again, sometimes there'll be multiple stocks that I like, but on average, um, as far as the stocks I look at, a lot of them, they've already made their run and that's kind of why they're, they're making their rounds. And so, you know, stocks we're talking about now, um, uh, the Castrol CTRM, um, I got in that stock super cheap. I did not imagine it ever going this high, so I, I already got out. You know, people are talking, all the marijuana stocks are up right now, Sundial, you know, a lot of people got in that. Um, but again, I, those could continue to go up, but for me, that's yesterday's news. They've already made their run. Um, if, a, if, if I'm talking about a stock that's already gone on a big run, so, you know, I made a ver video earlier about Microvision, that's because I still think Microvision has a lot of room to grow. And that's why, again, uh, usually I would say, hey, wait for a pullback. But if you went in and established a huge position microvision, you're going to be fine because I think, you know, microvision for me is still a buy. Anything under 30 bucks is still a buy for now as the valuation continues to grow. And um, there's a really, really cool article on Reddit about microvision, um, or actually not about microvision, about um, Fitbit and the buyout process and how it worked. And if that happens with microvision, whoo. We're about to get paid and we're gonna go yacht shopping after that. All right, back to OTC stocks. So I'm gonna throw you the OTC stocks that I'm invested in or I'm looking at. Um, some of these I, I've got paper hands. I just day trade or tried to swing trade. Um, obviously today that did not work out the best, but maybe uh, as the next few days and even next week, because all these stocks are on the rise as far as trends go, meaning that the Facebook groups are more active, the stock tweets more active, the Reddit's more active, uh, people are just searching it on Google more, they're searching on YouTube more. And so those those ticker symbols are CYBL, S-I-N-G, E-C-O-S, H-C-M-C, -C, and that one's really, really interesting, but it's really, really volatile. And so again, do not go blind willy-nilly uh, investing in these. Please do your due diligence on them. Uh, GTEH, which I have a couple videos on that, uh, GARB, which is a new one, um, and I'm, I'm compiling now my research uh, to, to do a video on that. I could do one, but it would be very, you know, half behind it, and, and I don't want to do that to you guys, uh, but that's a stock I'm, I'm planning to get in tomorrow. And then this one, it, it's silly, uh, but it's, it's BOTY. I don't believe that there's any, like, real value to the company meaning uh, as far as like long-term profitability, but it is definitely a meme stock. It is something that attention is going to, and there's a lot of memes and pictures going around, and that stock could make a crazy run, but it's gonna be like AMC or GameStop where it's gonna run up and it's gonna come crashing down real quick because people are gonna say, why are we invested in this? This is not a real company. It's gonna come crashing down. And then um, the other stock I'm in is Blue Sphere. BLSP, which I have a whole playlist about that. Um, I'm very, very bullish on that long term. So on a day like today, you know, it goes down. I'm just throwing money at it um, because I, I believe in that company long term. I've not sold any. That's something I have diamond hands on. Uh, I'm just very, very bullish on it. Even though it's a penny now, 
there's rumors that there's going to be a big announcement here in a couple weeks, but again, I'm not holding my breath on it. If they do it, great. If they don't, that's fine too. It doesn't matter. It's a real company. It's up and running. They went dark on purpose to save on a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of reasons. Again, I made a video on that, and so I don't want to rehash all that stuff. But uh, I guess the purpose of this today is just to let you know um, the reason why we all got that beat down. Corporate Universe, the CEO is basically a super shade ball. Uh, there was rumors of a big merger happening, and obviously that's not happening now. Um, again, mass company, the, the SEC just came down and said, hey, there's some stuff we need to look at. They did not go into super detail, but when that happened, that affects the whole OTC market. That you know, one guy messing up can affect everybody. And so the good thing about today, and I probably should have put this at the beginning because this is probably the most valuable part of this video, is that the volume was good today. There was some people that sold out, but there were more people that bought in. And at the end of the day, people who saw it, it looks like, you know, you can't, I can't say this with certainty, but it looks like the people who sold out early on this news did get back in. That at the end of the day, they said, okay, it's just this one stock, it's just this one company, we're getting back in. And so some of these, uh, positions where I was down huge on, uh, and, and again, when something is, you know, a fraction of a penny, it, you know, it goes down, it, it can move 30%, you know, that that's the only thing it moves. If it's going to move, it's going to move 30%, or it's, if it moves, uh, you know, there's one the other day is 0 0.001. So the only one it can go is 0 0.002, which is, means it doubles. <laughs> and so uh, some stuff like that, um, it's going to be very, very volatile. Um, if you get in, you have to know the risks, do your due diligence, make sure you, again, always have an exit strategy. So again, you know, a company like GSAT, it's had a good run, but I'm still in it. I, I'm, I'm in for eight, nine, ten dollars somewhere around there is where I'll start taking profits and, and I'll leave some in just in case it does run, but I'm gonna go ahead and take some quick profits on that. Company like Microvision, I'm never taking profits on. That we're gonna sell out, we're gonna get bought out, and it's gonna be awesome. Um, so again, just know your exit strategy, know how long it's going to take. Again, genius Rolls Royce. We're going to be in that for a while. We're just holding whenever the economy comes back, the world economy for Rolls Royce will do well for genius. Once this cartoon channel gets some network or, or cartoon, uh, gets some momentum, you know, and people find out, oh, wow, Arnold, oh, wow, you know, Warren Buffett, you know, we're going to get some traction. We're gonna go through the moon here in about two, three months, but it may take longer than that, but I'm fine waiting on those. But with these penny stocks, if you're gonna hold and you're gonna hold that company, make sure you're following the, 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 the trend and make sure you're following the volume because when the volume starts dropping, that stock's gonna drop and it can drop quick. And again, uh, it, when you're dealing with fractions of a penny, it just, it goes quick. And so just be very careful. Again, there's some of the stocks that I'm very, very bullish on long-term, um, but if other people are, are short-sighted and they just wanna get those quick gains, that can stop that stock. Even though there's a lot of potential in that company, it can slow them down. So anyways, um, it, drew, it was driving me crazy today at 9.45 when I just kept seeing it go down, down, down. I'm Googling, why is this happening? Why is this happening? And I'm looking at just the companies themselves, but it had nothing to do with the companies. It had something to do with, with something completely else uh, separate. So I'm glad that my companies are doing well. Blue Sphere, specifically GTEH, those are the big two. And then I gave you the rundown of the other ones. Check those out if you want. Again, always do, do your due diligence. This is not financial advice, not a financial advisor, just some dude on YouTube. So anyway, if you got value out of this, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit subscribe. Check out my other videos. Again, a lot of these penny ones, I got, I got full videos on, giving you full rundowns, full due diligence. If you got any questions, leave me a comment down below. And if you have a stock that I should check out, because I'm always looking at stocks to check out, drop that in the comment below. So thanks again so much for watching. You guys have a great day.